Marc Marquez has been fighting against the best ever MotoGP bike this season, it has been claimed. The Ducati GP24 has been described as the top machine in premier class history. Title rivals Peko Banyaya and Jorge Martin are both equipped with the latest version of the Desma Setasai, making the task for Marquez even more difficult on a year-old specification. Pramac have the same tools as Peko. The GP23 is not a bad machine but it's a year-old, it's not the latest and greatest, TNT Sports Michael Laverty assessed. It struggles to maximize the tire. It's not as good as the new bike from Ducati. Peko said at the Mizano test that the new chassis works with the new tire even better. It's ominous for the other contenders in 2025. Ducati are ahead of their rivals. Marquez, of course, will hugely benefit from a step up in machinery next season. His promotion from Brazini to the factory Ducati squad means he will possess equal machinery to Banyaya in 2025. Martin will ride in Aprilia while Bastianini will be on a KTM, having fled Ducati who chose Marquez above them for their factory bike. The importance of the latest specification Ducati is visible this season, Laverty insists. Bastianini with early season form would be a proper thorn in the side of Martin and Pecco, he said. But to win a title, stats say that you have to be on the latest Ducati. The GP24 is the best motorcycle we've ever seen, I've got to say. It is the cutting edge right now. It works so well, it's so fast, it breaks lap records every weekend. They don't cease to push development, there is more to come. MotoGP will enforce an engine freeze for the 2026 season, ahead of the major technical shakeup the following year. This rule could further play into the hands of the dominant Ducatis, Neil Hodgson believes. And it creates a potential problem for Aprilia and KTM, currently their nearest rivals, who cannot afford to put a foot wrong. Hodgson explained, it works well for the Japanese manufacturers, not for Aprilia and KTM. Ducati will have been all over it, saying we can freeze from today. It means at round 1 of 2025, whatever engine has been selected will continue through 2025 and 2026. It puts a lot of pressure on Aprilia and KTM to make the right decision this winter. If they make the wrong decision, they've got two years of a disaster. Ducati is seemingly carrying on with its no-team orders policy in the 2024 MotoGP title battle finale, but has urged its stable don't do stupid things. Jorge Martin and Francesco Bagnaia head into next weekend's season finale in Barcelona split by 24 points, with the former needing to outscore his rival by two to win the championship. For weeks, Ducati riders have been asked about being given factory orders, with the Italian mark electing against this. One of the biggest issues Ducati faces in implementing any orders is the fact that Martin and Bagnaia have been a clear step ahead of their rivals. At the Malaysian GP, third placed Inia Bastianini was 7 seconds away from Martin and 10.4s away from teammate Bagnaia. The two Ducati riders able to get into the lead group, Bastianini and Marc Marquez, have also got their own battle for third in the standings to consider, with the latter heading this by a point. For Ducati team manager Davide Tardazzi, he sees organizing any factory orders as very difficult, but says the mark will continue to issue the same warning it has all year. It's very difficult because Jorge and Peco are playing for number one, but the two riders who can help this situation one way or the other are Marc and Inia, he told TNT Sport and they are playing for number 3 in the championship. In the end, third place in the championship is not bad for many reasons. So, I think it will be difficult to discuss something like that. On top of that, I like to let the riders be free to play for their own championship. We say, what we've said already since the middle of the year, don't do stupid things between you. We don't want to have really bad, blood, or something like that between our top guys. The most famous example of Ducati team orders came in 2017, when Jorge Lorenzo was twice issued a mapping 8 message to his dashboard as code to let teammate Andrea De Vizioso through. While De Vizioso ended up ahead of Lorenzo at the Malaysian GP after this message was given, there was no compliance at the Valencia finale. In the last two years, Ducati has also elected against issuing factory orders. On the other hand, Ducati could not keep all of their star MotoGP riders and are justified in picking Marc Marquez, it is claimed. Marquez will be promoted from Brazini into the factory Ducati team for 2025, significantly meaning he will profit from better machinery. Although he has won Grands Prix on a year-old Desma Setisai this season, 
Marquez will have identical equipment and support to Peko Banyaya next year when he dreams of winning another title. But although Marquez's future is secured, Ducati will lose Ania Bastianini to KTM, Jorge Martin, and Marco Bezzecchi to Aprilia, and their Promax satellite team to Yamaha. But ex MotoGP team boss Livio Suppo told in MoW Mag there is logic to Ducati's decision making. Of course. If you are in the situation of Ducati, in which you have the best bike and practically all the strongest riders to ride it, it becomes very difficult. Because it is practically impossible to maintain, even only on an economic level. Consider that they arrived at this situation starting with young guys who were cheap, but the more they win the more expensive they cost. You can't give millions of euros to four riders. So they had to make choices. It was normal that they would not go on forever like this. Evidently Gigi Dalegna preferred Martin to go to the competition, not Marquez. Ducati developed Martin, Bezzecchi and Bastianini into the premier class race winners and title contenders that they have become. But the desire of each rider to benefit from factory support has led to their exit. Choosing Marquez goes against Ducati's philosophy of raising up-and-coming youngsters but his brilliant victories this season made it clear why he was selected. The 2025 grid will be notably different because Ducati's presence will reduce from 8 bikes to 6, as Pramac joined Yamaha. And there will be only 3 factory Ducatis, Banyaya, Marquez and VR46 as Fabio Di Gian Antonio, rather than the 4 that compete this year. On the other hand, Jorge Martin's move to Aprilia in 2025 means he will leave behind MotoGP's best bike. The Ducati GP24, the machinery of the two riders from the factory and Promac teams, has proved to be a step ahead of even the year-old version which Marc Marquez rides. But Martin will join Aprilia next year which means a major change of manufacturer. He was questioned about his true feelings on leaving MotoGP's best bike to someone else. Or not. We don't know that, he replied to AS. In the end we don't know this and I want to think about this year and go race by race. After, Barcelona. I will think about next year. I don't know what I'm going to find. I don't know if it will be very good or very bad, so I'll think about it when I have to think about it. Pero, yo creo que de... Martin was asked if he'd ever reconsidered his decision to quit Ducati. No. Never. Not at all, he insisted. I have not reconsidered that nor am I going to reconsider it. In the end, there are situations in life where you have to make decisions and this was one. Two, I have followed my dream and I hope to fulfill it. Ducati initially appeared set to reward Promax Martin with their 2025 factory ride, but you turned to select Marquez instead. Martin, who missed out on the coveted red bike for a third time, immediately penned a deal to become a factory Aprilia rider next year. He was asked whether his swift choice was due to his spite for Ducati's rejection. I don't have to say anything, he claimed. Everyone who thinks what they want. I am very calm with my decision. Martin could yet take the number one plate to Ducati's rival Italian manufacturer. He will be replacing his good friend Alix Espargaro at Aprilia. The MotoGP landscape will be hugely different in 2025 when Peco Bagnaia and Marquez form a formidable, but potentially volatile, factory Ducati lineup. Ducati will have six riders, reduced from eight. And three factory bikes, reduced from four.